like to do my, my evals bilaterally, particularly range of motion evals, so whenever I'm looking at the patient, I can see what's going on. So get the patient to pull her toes up towards them into dorsal flexion, go to the side, look and see. If one side is grossly different than the other, okay, if it's the affected side that's got more or less, check and see, because it could be either, it could be excessive dorsal flexion or, or decreased dorsal flexion. If you need to measure it, grab your goniometer, okay, find your axis of rotation, take a measurement. Okay. I'm not going to cover that, I'm assuming that you guys are all good with that. So take them right up, and then you can add in the rubber pressure, just to see if we've got any more. Plan reflection, point your toes towards me. Okay. Again, you want to look and see, she's pretty equal. And if you want to just check for overpressure, do that. True ankle joint, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. Subtalar joint, inversion, eversion. Toes up in the uh, neutral position again. For inversion, ask them to keep their knees pointing towards the ceiling. Put the soles of your feet together. Look from above. And you can see if there's a difference in angle. <coughs> She's a little bit more on her right than on her left. Come in and feel it. Palpate. See if it feels tight or if it feels painful. Okay? Any history of ankle sprains? Okay? For eversion, take your toes up and out. And again, look from above to look down and see if there's any difference. Doesn't really have any. She's a little bit more mobile on her right foot than she is on her left foot. Okay? And so, all okay, good with that? You're doing it because you're just trying to reproduce symptoms and reassessing and getting a benchmark for baseline. Range of motion, what's lost, what's not lost. Okay? okay. Um, measuring inversion, eversion. How did you do it? Down the tibial, tibial crest. And then the access was between the two malleoli. And yeah. Oh, so you did it this way? I actually did it. We did it seated. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. That way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sitting, I think. Was yeah, we did it seated. Okay. An easier way to do it? Nice. I'll show you all the easy ways to do it. Okay. Take care of evaluation form. You got a. So, what we'll do is. We've got a pen. Let's just take a pen. So, midpoint of the calcaneus, just draw a straight line. Inversion, eversion. Put it on their evaluation form, it never goes away. Alright? And all you need to do is just use the clipboard that you always carry around the clinic or the back of a book and just put it in there. Then you want to measure it, 